di digital it isn't really about technology. Technology is just a real, you know, pe people used to sit in rooms and look at me and say, how are you going to transform me? How are you going to do this? And I'd look back at them and say, well, it starts with you. You need to give me some genuine insight from customers. What do they want to do? What do the users want? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I'd say I was at the back of that where I'd say, now we would build you some services that look and can deliver what you want. So the first thing you guys need to do is go away and tell me what you really want. So, so the fear of beginning at the start of that was, well, I don't really want to ask all these customers what they want, do I? Um, they might start to tell me. They might give me more than one answer. They might give me something that isn't very palatable. So as a customer for a car, I buy a new car, I get a year old, I do an MOT. You transfer from one government department to another. As a user, why do I do that? Why, why do you make me do that? Why do you make me go back and forth? If I have a problem, why do I have to keep going back and forth? And we have a number of services. If you, One of the ones we looked at quite strongly was medical. So as, as, a, as a medical case, I go back from... from how do I drive? I need to go back to my doctor and then I want to go to DWP because I get some benefit on the back of it. All those kind of services completely change the fabric of what we look like. So as an agency, we, we, we suffer a lot with the challenge of getting all the people who are part of that in traditional mechanisms within a government department that says where well, they were functionally based. I run a call centre. I run some scanning, I run some print, I run some projects. Actually, we're changing the whole fabric of what we do into I'm now a service-orientated organisation, which actually means I have to look out into other government departments and other users, give me feedback on, I take information on, you know, putting something like we've done, I think we launched yesterday the stuff for the motor insurance industry, where they just take our data and, and they use that data and they use it for their own purposes, but actually I have to be part of that process because it changes how I capture data, changes how I store data. And so we're having to change everything we do around that. Um, and that, that means that when we go to do those changes, we encounter a lot of, a lot of fear, um, a lot of panic, I think. And I think for, as leaders in these areas, it's a, a responsibility for us to try and make sure that those people are, are brought through that. Technology is a big part of it. But actually, we need to start sharing that technology with other people within the departments. So within our IT department, it, it's, uh, I can say it's a very difficult place to live at the minute because all the pressure seems to f focus in on, say, well, why, where's my digital transformation? Actually, it's all of us. So we've got to share that technology back up with others. And those guys have to start saying, yeah, OK, I need to learn a bit of that myself. So we have to start sharing which, and sharing the knowledge <laughs> that you have and the power you have is a scary thing for us to do, too.